Hi lovelies, can you see the quality of this multi-purpose liquid soap? Oh yes, I bring to you another interesting video. In this video, I will show you the simplest way to make multi-purpose liquid soap at the comfort of your home. And I will be explaining it step by step so that you will be able to do it even without any knowledge of chemistry. It will be very easy for everybody at whatsoever level to do this for house use, for office use, or to start your own business as well. Can you believe I spent just 5,000 francs to produce 18 liters of high quality multi-purpose liquid soap? You are amazed, right? The economy is so hard, so we need to shine our eyes. Just tell me, how much is one liter of a good quality liquid soap sold in your area. At least a thousand francs, right? And we spend just 5,000 francs to produce 18 liters of high quality liquid soap. See how thick it is. Just look at this. Does this sound like a business idea to you? Does it? Tell me. Hit the like button, look for a paper and pen, and let's begin. Just keep business aside even. This production is so good for family use. So, so economical. These are all the chemicals we need and their specific measurements. Feel free to pause at this point and copy them down. And for this production, we will be using 15 liters of water. For us to have the best results, we need our specific measurements. So let's proceed to measure our chemicals. If you don't have a measurement scale at home, worry not. The vendors will help you measure out these chemicals. So the first chemical we have is natrosol and we need 100 grams of natrosol. Secondly, we have SLS, which stands for sodium lauryl sulfate, and it looks like rice, just like the grains of rice. So, we need 100 grams of SLS as well. The next chemical we have is soda ash, and we will need 250 grams of soda ash. Let's proceed. The next chemical we have is texapon which looks like a gel and we will need 250 grams of texapon gel. The next chemical we have is STPP, which stands for sodium tripolyphosphate and we will need 50 grams of STPP. Later in the video, I'm going to explain to you the uses of all these chemicals in liquid soap. The next chemical we have is caustic soda which looks like granulated sugar and we will need 50 grams of caustic soda. The last chemical we have is sulfonic acid which looks like honey and we need half liter of sulfonic acid. Then we have our fragrance and our foam booster. I will not be adding preservative because this soap will be used within one month. If not, you have to add your preservative. So these are all the chemicals we need for a 15 liter production and you can get all these chemicals from your local market just ask around and you will be directed to where these chemicals are sold let's dive to the pre-production phase so here we have our 15 liters of water our mixing bowl our spatula and these other smaller bowls are to dissolve all these chemicals each chemical is to be dissolved separately just pay attention this is the crucial part of this production so i went ahead to share this water in the main mixing bowl we have seven liters of water in our main mixing bowl and we have two liters of water each in these smaller bowls and the last bowl is empty because the chemical to be mixed in the last bowl does not require water so these are all eight liters of water and in the main bowl, we have 7 liters of water to make up our 15 liters. And this bowl is empty because the chemical to be dissolved in it does not require water. Let us proceed to dissolve the chemicals. So the first chemical we are dissolving is soda ash. So we begin with the chemicals that take longer to dissolve. So we are pouring chemical into water, not water into chemical, not the other way around. We pour our chemical into water. 
Soda ash has a high level of alkalinity and this makes it very good in removing stains. So it has quartz grains and it also helps to regulate the concentration of caustic soda in liquid soap. So it is so so good in removing stains. The next chemical to dissolve is SLS. Like I said before, SLS stands for sodium lauryl sulfate. SLS looks exactly like rice and it is a foam booster. It helps our liquid soap to lather very well. So we pour it inside water and we gently stir. And we stir from time to time to help SLS to dissolve because it actually takes so long for SLS to dissolve. So we keep stirring till we are able to dissolve our SLS. Let us proceed to dissolve our STPP. STPP is an abbreviation for sodium Tripolyphosphate. STPP is a very strong cleaning agent and it helps get rid of stains. STPP is very easy to dissolve compared to SLS. So we add in water and we stir for a while. So we constantly go back to stir the other chemicals so that they dissolve faster. So the secret is to dissolve all ingredients properly. You don't want to see chunks of ingredients at the end of the production, right? I guess you don't want to see that. So, to have the best quality liquid soap, we have to stir them to dissolve well. So let us proceed to dissolve caustic soda. Caustic soda is a whitish crystalline substance that looks like granulated sugar. Caustic soda helps the ladder of soap to form very well through a process known as saponification. But don't worry, we are not going to go into so much chemistry. And then we pour out our sulfonic acid into this bowl. Sulfonic acid helps to break down the surface tension between water and dirt, grease, oil, and all the like, leaving a thoroughly clean surface. It equally helps the ladder of soap to foam very well. So sulfonic acid is a cleaning agent as well as a foam booster. So we are going to dissolve the texapon gel inside sulfonic acid. Naturally, sulfonic acid is warm and then texapon is very cold. So mixing the two together will help them dissolve easily. Ensure that you take out all the texapon gel from the plastic so that you don't alter the measurement. You know measurements are so important for the quality and success of this production. So ensure that you are able to take out all the texapon from the plastic as well as you pour out all the sulfonic acid from the container. So you gently stir them together for them to dissolve well. It doesn't take time. Just about 15 seconds to 20 seconds, they will be dissolved into each other. Have you liked this video? Have you? Please, that is not nice at all. Hit the like button below. And if it's your first time stopping by here, you are most welcome. Hit the subscribe button below to join this beautiful community where we share amazing recipes and health tips. As you can see, both chemicals have dissolved into each other. This is the simplest way to dissolve both chemicals. And then lastly, into the main production bowl, into our 7 liters of water, we are dissolving natrosol. Natrosol is the thickener and it looks physically like milk powder. So you pour it out in the main production bucket into the 7 liters of water and you gently stir around. Natrosol doesn't take time to dissolve. Just after a few minutes, it is well dissolved. So at this point, we are done dissolving all our chemicals. Let's check out the chemicals we dissolved earlier. Look at the soda ash, well dissolved until the water looks transparent. Next, we have our caustic soda, well dissolved as well. Our STPP, well dissolved. And lastly, our SLS that look like rice is equally well dissolved. So now we are moving into the production phase proper. So in this production phase, we are just adding water into water because we have already turned all our chemicals into water. So we are just adding water into water. And the first chemical to add is our texapon and sulfonic acid. So we pour that into 
the main production bowl, which is the natural soil solution, and then we gently mix very well. You don't have to mix vigorously, else it will begin to lather so badly. So you stir that gently, maybe just giving a W motion, just like you can see me do, just that gentle W motion so that the foam doesn't cover so fast. As the texapon and sulfonic acid mix with the natural soil, you will begin to see foam on top just like this. This shows that the chemicals have mixed well with each other. As you can see, the color is beginning to change. Don't bother, just continue. So the second chemical to add is the caustic soda. You pour that in and you continue mixing bit by bit and you mix, bit by bit and you mix. Can you now see how easy the whole process is? No matter your level, you will be able to make this at the comfort of your home. No stress. My people, with the high cost of things in the market, it is high time we start making a lot of things for ourselves. This liquid soap is one of them. So good for home use as well as for commercial purposes. Once you add the caustic soda and mix, the mixture will start thickening up and it might be difficult to mix with one hand. Reason you see me using my both hands. So look at the consistency after adding caustic soda. It has begun to thicken up a bit, showing we are on the right path. So let's proceed with our production. And the next liquid to add here is our soda ash. Pay much attention here. If you pour in the soda ash at once, you might form lumps in your liquid soup. So you add in soda ash bit by bit and you mix till it is well incorporated before you add in the next batch. So we can add in these two liters of water that we use to dissolve our soda ash about eight different times and mix properly each time. This is the core of the production. If you don't pay attention here, you are going to spoil everything. So we pour in soda ash bit by bit, mix well before adding in the next batch. I actually added in soda ash eight times and mix well. And this was the last time. And as you can see, the moment you start adding in your soda ash, the mixture begins to thicken up so badly. Reason you need to add it in bit by bit. As you can see, the mixture is looking very heavy at this point. Let's take a look. Just look at it. See how thick it is. This is the texture after adding soda ash. Just compare this to what I showed earlier after adding the caustic soda. And you begin to see the reaction of each chemical. Please give this video a like if you haven't done so yet. It is very important. Thank you. So we proceed to add in our STPP. And at this moment, no need adding it bit by bit. If you like, you can pour it in at once and mix. There is no problem. So one other importance of STPP in our liquid soap is that it helps the soap to lather well, even if you use the soap in hot water. Most of the times, we prefer washing children's dresses in hot water. So whether hot or cold water, once there is STPP in your liquid soap, it's going to foam or lather well. And lastly, we add in our SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate. You can choose to add in bit by bit and mix as I'm doing, or you pour everything at once and mix. There is no problem with adding sodium lauryl sulfate. If you have watched up to this point, I want to take this time to appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. Please don't forget to like. Why not leave me a beautiful comment in the comment section below and equally share this video with your friends and family. So at this point, we gently stir for everything to mix well. And then lastly, we add in our foam booster. Our foam booster is going to help our soap to lather very well. So we add that in and we mix to combine. If you are to add in preservatives, you add it at this point. But like I said, I won't add in preservative because we'll be using this soap within a month. So we proceed to add in our fragrance. You can choose any fragrance of your choice. I went in for lemon fragrance. It leaves a very beautiful fragrance. 
especially after cleaning the house. And lastly, we add in some color. This is totally optional. You can choose to leave your liquid soap colorless. So I decided to add in some orange color because I actually wanted something very beautiful. So you add and mix, add in bit by bit and mix till you achieve the color that you want. It looks too light, so we add in some more and we keep mixing till we are able to achieve the color that we want. See how beautiful our liquid soap is looking. Just look at the texture. Guys, this is quality. This is more than quality. And if you're doing this for business, let me give you a little trick. Don't tell anybody you. You can add in some water at this point. You can add in about one liter of water and there will be no much difference in the quality of the soap. So at this point, all the chemicals are still in their active state. So we cover the bucket and leave it untouched for the next 24 hours. And after 24 hours, we are now free to touch the soap with our bare hands. This is what we have after 24 hours. Look at our liquid soap. See how beautiful and thick it is. Guys, this is just the easiest way to make the best quality multipurpose liquid soap at the comfort of your home. When we say multipurpose, it simply means this soap can be used for several things. It can be used for mopping the floor, washing the car, washing plates, cleaning countertops, washing dresses, and so on and so forth. This is actually a multipurpose liquid soap. Guys, the moment of truth has come. Let us test our soap and see if it actually lathers well. Look at the small size I took with my fingers and it's able to foam in over 5 liters of water. Guys, this is actually a high quality liquid soap. It can be used to wash your hands, it can be used to wash plates, it can be used to clean the sink, clean your countertops. In fact, this is actually a multi-purpose liquid soap for home use, for office use, and so on. So we proceed to store our liquid soap in containers. You can actually get all these containers from the same shop selling these chemicals otherwise you can still store your liquid soap in used water bottles if it's just for home use but for commercial purposes you need to have these containers guys just take a look at our high quality transparent multi-purpose liquid soap the soap is giving the soap is soaping just take a look. Like I said, for home use, store your soap in used water bottles or any container you have in the house. But for commercial purposes, look for presentable containers like these ones. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. Bye.